Hi, I'm Andy Agostini from EA Sports. I work on the NHL 09 project, and I'm here to show you the uh, Montreal Canadiens Centennial team and the EA Sports Hockey League. We, we contacted the Montreal Canadiens when we found out that they were going to be do, celebrating their 100th anniversary and talked to them about putting together um, a legend team of, of all their greats from their history in the NHL. And uh, we worked with them for the last eight months and they managed to uh, help us get reference and ratings and, and get everything organized for the team. Um, and we have uh, 21 greats. Only one has ever appeared in a video game, and that's Patrick Waugh. Uh, there are, from the 21 players, I believe there's 138 Stanley Cups between them all. Wow. So it truly is a, a legend team, and they are the hardest team in the game to beat. Because really? they are literally better than any all-star team that we could put together in the uh, NHL currently. Are they uh, wearing their old equipment and stuff, you know, from their era, kind of? They, um, they are, uh, in the sense that uh, they're wearing a lot of CCM older equipment. It's not identical, and um, we, since the eras were so different, we had to kind of find a middle ground. So we picked an area around the 70s where everyone would wear um, CCM equipment. And but the goalies do have vintage brown pads if they're if they're wearing that, like Ken Dryden does, yeah. and uh, Jacques Plante. And Jacques Plante doesn't even wear a mask. So that's awesome. Does Guy Lafleur have a mullet? Uh, yes, they actually they actually you'll see some of the haircuts. That okay. it's quite interesting. So every face that you see in on the 21 players that are on the Montreal Canadiens, each one has been individually made from reference ranging from anywhere from the 30s all the way to the 70s and 80s. Uh, as you see, Ken Dryden is, is modeled. So who's the oldest oldest uh, era player on the team? Howie Morenz is the oldest player. And what years did he sign up? Uh, I believe he played in, in the late 30s with the Montreal Canadiens. Old-time hockey. Old-time hockey. <laughs> A little bit of new equipment, but old-time hockey. Um, and every player uh, ranges from about 87 overall to uh, 99 overall. So the team is quite uh, well balanced in terms of skill, and also they're very. Every line is devastating. You could go out there and it's like playing a first line every time you step on the ice. And you see Guy Lafleur here with his trademark uh, haircut. Okay. John Belvo and Jeffrey on. Show you some of their faces close up. Yeah, let's see some of these guys. So again, what was the reasoning? I mean, it's the 100th anniversary of the Canadians. Is that kind of just? It, it's in celebration of the 100th anniversary of the Canadians. Uh, they're the most storied uh, team in the NHL. They have uh, 24 cups in 100 years. So. Oops. Yeah, I, I find a lot of their fans are pretty annoying. Actually, yeah. that's all they talk about. <laughs> Well, they have something to talk about. I, I'm from Vancouver. We've been waiting like, 30, 38 years now. Two Stanley Cup finals and two crushings. So, so who's this we're looking at? Uh, this is uh, Boom Boom Jeffreyon. Oh yeah. Every player on the team that was a captain or assistant captain will have a C and an A on them. So it does truly show the uh, the history of this of this franchise. We have, I, I believe, nine captains and four or five assistant captains, okay. and that's uh, Doug Harvey. Doug Harvey. Now you're not even looking at. Do they have names on their back, or you they, just know no, them? No, they have names on their so back. Just, now who's that ugly guy? This is Guy Lapointe. Wow, he's ugly. He played in the '70s and '80s with, uh, with probably one of the best defenses ever. So their hairstyles are they are they accurate? I mean, did They're you really accurate. have that kind of that's, bucket ha hair haircut? Yes, that's that's accurate as of the uh, reference that we received from the Montreal Canadiens. Here's Maurice Richard. As you can see, even the eyes came out very fiery. It. it Wow. It truly reminds me of all the photos that I've seen as a child, and even and the reference that they sent us. It was, it's incredible, and, you know how close and and what of what they look like when in their prime. Now is, is Henri Richard in the game as well? So does yes, he I'll have an M Richard on. on his jersey? Oh, um, you see the back of his jersey. I, know. I do believe we don't have an M. So it's just Richard. You just got to know. Cause oh no, number nine. There we go. Yeah, M Richard, right? M Richard, yes. Cool. So we did get that in. Some things go above and beyond producers. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody probably did it for me and I didn't even know. Here's Jean Belliveau. Nice. Hang on, I'll just pull out a bit so we go a little faster around the guy. Those faces are amazing. So he's got some bags under his eyes there or something. Yeah, Belliveau has always been a little bit of a droopy droopy look, but a great, great player. So you can't... Uh, he's probably the most storied Montreal Canadian as he played in Quebec his whole life. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's, he's quite a legend. So on the ice alone, there are three captains and one assistant. Guy oh, Lefleur, Lefleur. Ivan Cornoyer. That's um, Henri Richard. That's impressive. And 
Doug something? I, Who's no, I believe that's Dickie Moore. Okay. Uh, that's Jock Lemaire. All right. Oh, the old Jock. Yeah. Totally different haircut now as he's yeah. balding. Um, and as you can see, you know, two more captains. <clears throat> An assistant captain here. I don't know who that is. Bob Ganey. Yep. Uh, number six. Some of the numbers have changed because we can't have duplicate numbers. Right, of Steve course. Shutt is the only person with a helmet on. <laughs> so uh, He's the he, odd man out. Yeah, he, he actually, as soon as you see him on the ice, you know the line that you're on. So it's, it's kind of cool. 